Hello there guys, <coughs> this is ATH Shadow Angel, uh, as always, and uh, I'm going to show you these that I've been working on, which is obviously the uh, Dragon Ogres kit, uh, but they're all finished, they're all done. Um, if you've been following the um, Facebook channel, uh, Facebook page, sorry, um, you've seen these uh, kind of being built up, or state, you know. All that. Uh, so here they are. Uh, first of all, they are an absolutely beautiful kit to put together. Really nice and simple. Uh, if you're into uh, converting and uh, doing all that kind of stuff, they're really nice uh, to for a bit of a challenge to, to be able to do uh, bits and pieces with them. Uh, with me, I've kind of just gone with them as as they are, because I think they look really nice as that as is. Um, so yeah, so just to explain what I've done, uh, so I've got my main guy, which is a um, shard shard rock or something like that. Uh, so it's basically the champion of the unit, uh, and then I have the two, the obviously the other two, uh, all armed with great weapons. Uh, so yes, they strike last. But to be honest, it makes them strength seven, I think. Uh, yeah, it's like strength seven uh, attacks. Uh, they have quite a, a fair few, four wounds each. So they're a fairly hard unit. Uh, but I used them in the, uh, the game the other day. The other, the other day. Uh, they work really well. Uh, for gaming advice, I'd say use them more in a supporting role. Uh, rather than trying to take stuff on on their own, because uh, obviously they're only number three. But uh, I mean, if they get left on their own in combat, they're not too bad. Uh, they can obviously handle themselves uh, or take care of themselves. So yeah. Um, so uh, let's take a closer look. So I'm gonna move these two out of the way, uh, and let's take a look at the. My main guy, first of all. So, uh, first of all is the obviously the lizard, the dragon side of the of the ogre. Uh, now for this, I actually got uh, I got inspiration from watching uh, the latest Spider-Man film, obviously with the lizard. I was watching that, like, oh, they look like really nice colours. So, uh, this is built up of uh, pretty much the same colours I do, uh, same way I do my orcs. Uh, which is um, uh, Castellan, followed by the wash of uh, camo shade, then re-highlight again with um, th uh, Cast okay, yeah. Thonian, then Castellan, then a wash of uh, earth shade, and then one or two washes of. Uh, null oil just to give it that kind of dark crevice look so it really brings it out so if you can see that you can see the really nice shades of greens and yellows in there and it really makes it make brings this out so yeah uh then for the armor platings bits of armor plate i've just come with my standard red colors uh, the dark red for my so it fits in more with my army. Um, the skin is built up from your standard uh, flesh colours uh, from GW. Uh, now for this guy, I did a uh, helmeted head uh, to signal him out, signal him out as the uh, champion of the unit, uh, which has got small dents and small scratches and stuff, which I've just picked up with a bit of silver. Uh, well, so, uh, yeah. Then you've got the massive uh, axe as he's slamming it down to the floor and everything else. So yeah, so there's that guy. Uh, next up, I believe one of my uh, my favourite. So as you can see, he's gone with the unhelmeted one with the small horns just starting. These horns just starting to grow in. Uh, massive. 
hammer, which I've done as a rock, uh, like rock uh, stone core, uh, with the steel braces round. Uh, simple leather strapping, which is done by um, uh, Rhinox. Is it Rhinox. Yeah, Rhinox hide. Uh, and then highlighted up with uh, dark flesh, which I'm not sure what it's called now. Uh, but yeah, uh, so you can see you've done the same with the tassels, the skulls hanging off the front, uh, the really nice uh, shoulder guard that he has, which I think look quite cool. This has to focus. So it's the sort of lot with the T with the lightning bolt ends and stuff, which I think look really cool. Uh, same again for the obviously for the dragon part of it, uh, with the sp bone spines coming down either side and down the middle, and you've got the chain coming down the back there just to finish all that off. So, yeah, there's that guy. So, next, and then finally, the last guy, uh, thought I'd give him the massive uh, bald mace, it's his weapon of choice. Uh, same again with the straps and everything, so it's all been obviously kept fairly similar. Uh, as you can see the armour plates are done down here. Uh, all the scratches and scuffs and everything I've just done with a uh, lead belcher and just put a black wash over it just to keep it really simple. Uh, I've had a couple of people ask me how I do uh, claw, uh, well, my bone claws and stuff. All it is is um, uh, is it what used to be known as Bestial Brown, which I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, Scrag Brown, that's the one. So not the camera over. So Scrag Brown, followed by your shabti, uh, your shabti bone, and then uh, earth shade over over the top, making sure it's a bit thicker towards the actual root. And it gives you this quite nice uh, bone effect. Uh, it's how I do all my bones because I think it look it gives the bone a bit more of that age look rather than I, and plus I could never do the um, layers up to white and I don't think bone should be pure white anyway. Um, but yeah, so all the cores uh, for the one thin membrane one. I decided to keep it. So it actually looks like it's all part of the same bit rather than painting these spiking spines up as bone because I don't think the membrane would grow between bone for some reason. I don't know, it just didn't look right to me so I kept it all in, in touch with the greens and stuff. Uh, so as you can see, so yeah, so, uh, so more scuff marks and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, uh, the chains obviously and things like that. Uh, the two hooks he has hooked into his back, so all actually the four hooks that are in his back. Make sure everything, all his armour and stuff stays on. Um, and yeah, um, there you go, guys. Uh, so there you go. Um, my Dragon Ogre's unit. Uh, ready for battle, as you can see, obviously with the actually uh, with, with the bases, just a really simple base. It's just the sand followed by uh, after it's been sprayed. Uh, good, good helping of uh, graveyard earth over the top, just to bring out the dirt, and then just put a small bit, a couple patches of um, GW static grass on there, just to bring them out a bit. Um, and so there you go, guys. Um, as always, if you want it, if you drop a comment down below, uh, I'll always give them a read. Uh, or you can uh, follow the link; it should be down there somewhere. Uh, and come over in and uh, chat with us on uh, the Facebook page if you want to ask us something, uh, or check out what I'm working on currently. Uh, as of what I've got coming up next, uh, I'm not sure as 
I have a couple things in the works, uh, which I'll hopefully bring to you soon. So there you go, guys. Thanks again for watching, and thank you so much for subscribing. And I'll catch you next time. So I'll see you later, guys.